Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Discord banner for your Discord super easily. This is going to be a simple one, so anyone can do it with just a few steps. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at Photopea.com, all you want to do is click on New Project. For the dimensions, we're going to be going with 1100 for the width and 440 for the height. Now click Create. Now the first thing we're going to do is add a gradient to this background here. So double click on the background layer. Go to gradient overlay and check this box to apply it. Go ahead and click on that text right here or the box. And now you can see this menu popped up. Go ahead and click on the gradient color box right here. And you just want to mess with this white one. So double click on that little white box and change it to whatever color you want. Preferably a darker color. So I'm going to go with a dark blue. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now I'm going to change the style from linear to radial. And I'm going to click reverse and then I'm going to adjust the scale by turning it up. So it looks like this looks pretty nice. Now hit OK. We're done with that. Now we're going to add some text. So go ahead and get your type tool here. Type in some of your text. I'm going with the fork font right here. F-O-R-Q-U-E. You can choose whatever font you want, but I'm choosing this one. So I'm going to type in the lounge so the text is going to be pretty small so you just want to resize it so there's two ways you can do this there's probably more but these are the ways i know so you can either hit Control a to select all the text or you can left click drag your mouse highlight all of it i recommend Control a it's a lot easier now go up here to size and you can turn it up to whatever you want now it goes up to 150 on the slider but you can type in any number that'll go past 150 or you can hit Control alt t these boxes will pop up. You can grab one of them, hold shift and drag your mouse and it will make it bigger. I recommend that for making it bigger than 150. So we're just going to move that to the center right here like this. So it's about 159 PX. So now what we're going to do is add some color to it. So for the go ahead and highlight that, change the color to white and for lounge, change that to whatever color you want. So I'm going to go with a light blue like that. Now go over here to your text and hit control J to duplicate it. I'm going to delete this one because I don't know why it's here. Now you have a copy version. Make sure that's the one that's selected. Hit control alt T. Grab the top left one and hold shift while you drag your mouse and do that to the bottom right one as well like that to each corner and now drag that copy below the original and turn the opacity down on it right here to about 4% looks pretty good. It just gives it more depth. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go down here to the new layer button. So go ahead and click on that. Go to your brush tool over here on the left side. If you can't find it, go up here to the search bar and type it in right here tools, brush tool, or you can use B on your keyboard. So now you can see here's the cursor, but it's really small and it's not what we want. So what you want to do is hold alt and right click and drag your mouse right to make it bigger, left to make it smaller, up to make it softer, down to make it harsher. So just get it to about here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but make it kind of soft and make it pretty big. And now just change the color here on this top box to um, just a light blue or whatever color you use for the text over here. That's the color you want to use. So I'm just going to like click a few times here, just kind of randomly. Now I'm going to change this blend mode up here to soft light and turn the opacity down a little bit. It's up to you what you want to do, like with where you put the dots, there's really no right way to do it. It's up to you. Just, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Go ahead and create another layer right here. This time change the color to white and make it bigger and then go right above everything in the middle and then click. It'll look like that. Now you can change the color to whatever you want, like the blend mode to soft light, whatever, or you could do normal and then just turn the opacity down if you want it to be like a white light. That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and redo these dots because I'm not happy with them. So let's just do this real quick. Now this is where it gets insane. 
you want to go ahead and delete your top text you don't even have to make that i'm sorry i made you do that but that's one way you can do it now i'm going to show you another way to make this even cooler so if you go to the bottom right here go to this half circle it says new adjustment layer click on that go to exposure and now get ready for it turn the exposure up and boom look at that you have a sick banner that looks really insane now i think this is really cool maybe you think this is stupid you could make the text even smaller like this now that is completely up to you i do think that looks pretty cool and i'm gonna go with it so it's really weird how it works but if you just do like some really stupid things sometimes it can make something really cool i actually figured this out by accident so you know that's how you do it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this helped you guys if it did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.